multiple question that I received from the Marines of 2nd CEB was regarding suppressors on small arms weapons. Some of the Marines believe that putting the suppressor on the weapon lessens their capability in terms of range and lethality, and today I want to dispel that myth. So I'm going to start off by firing unsuppressed. I'm going to fire through this chronograph right here, and it's going to give me the velocity of each shot. Then I'm going to take the same ammunition and the same barrel length and put a conventional blast baffle suppressor onto the end of the barrel and fire five more shots through this suppressor. Okay, now we're going to fire the same weapon, same barrel length, same ammunition, with a suppressor. So, as you can see, you don't suffer a effective range or lethality or accuracy penalty by having a suppressor on the What we covered today was the principal question of putting a suppressor on your weapon and what that does to your capability. It increases your capability. And if nothing else, I want you to walk away with that. It doesn't slow your bullets down. You literally have to use subsonic ammunition to lose that range and lethality capability. And we're not doing that to you. Suppressor is a good thing. It increases your lethality. It makes you harder to kill. And, uh, and you're going to get one here pretty soon. So it's been my pleasure. Send your questions, put them down here in the comments below, and uh, we will try to do our best to, to answer your questions. Thanks, Marines and sailors. Have a good one. Semper Fi. So let's collimate the weapon. First things first, safety first. So I'm going to go ahead and ensure this weapon is clear. There is no ammunition in the weapon or in the chamber. Shut the ejection port cover, we're ready to go. The weapon is clear, because I'm going to need to insert the small arms collimator into the muzzle and then go ahead and seat that rubber grommet right up there against the muzzle device. I'm going to rotate around here so I can see through the RCO. And then I'm going to go ahead and match up the 100 meter index line or top of the chevron in the RCO to the bottom of the wedge inside here. You can read the instruction manual. Many of you have done this. This is just a refresher. So right now I am center, but I need to adjust the elevation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Move, move, move. And Good. I'm going to go ahead and tap the top of the RCO without damaging it, just to make sure the prism is seated. Give it a little bit more fine tuning. And I'm matched up. Top of the chevron to the bottom of the wedge. Rifle's collimated. That eliminates the need to do the 25 meter VZO process. Group firing and precisely zeroing your rifle is one of the most critical prep for combat tasks you must conduct. By using an issue small arms collimator and an issue spotting scope, a precise 100 meter zero can be obtained in minutes. Zeroing, when using the correct equipment, can be performed very efficiently. Do not cross the line of departure without a solid proof fire with precise zeroing.